Hey guys, it's Chris at Highline Guitars. It's Tuesday and that means you're watching one of my Guitar Building Tuesday Quick Tips videos. Today I'm going to talk about the truss rod and specifically where you should place the adjustment nut. Should you place it at the headstock or should you place it at the heel? Why do some guitar players like the truss rod adjustment at the headstock and why do some prefer it at the heel? Or I should say guitar builders. Uh, guitar players like it typically at the headstock because it's easy to access even with the strings on, whereas at the heel it can be a little bit, a little bit more problematic. But one of the reasons why, well in fact most guitars that are made, most solid body electric guitars, have the adjustment nut at the headstock. And the reason for that is just uh, manufacturing ease and lower cost. All you have to do is route a slot for the truss rod to sit in. And in the case of an angled headstock, that slot would continue all the way out of the headstock and stop just shortly after the nut or between the nut and the, the tuners. And that means, or that allows for a smaller truss rod cover with access like so. Uh, on a flat headstock like this fender headstock, the truss rod slot will stop short of the nut and then an access hole is drilled in to the neck and the, the fretboard to provide access for the tool in that hole. And in some cases, like with this, uh, this is just a Squire guitar, and even though it's a cheaper guitar, it still has this little dressy piece that was inserted into the, to the hole. It's, usually it's either plastic on cheaper guitars like this one, on more expensive Fender guitars, it's a walnut dowel that has a hole drilled through the center of it and that's placed inside of that hole and then it's cut and sanded flush with the contour. So that's how they handle that hole there to kind of dress it up a little bit. Uh, some people don't like the way it looks to have the adjustment nut at the headstock, whether it's covered with a truss rod cover or has a little dressy piece of wood or plastic in there. They want that to be nice and clean and so they will opt for placing instead of the truss rod nut at the headstock they'll flip it around and have the truss rod nut at the heel. This also is supposed to in theory increase the strength of where the headstock meets the neck because this is the thinnest part of the guitar neck and is therefore more susceptible to breakage. However, if you do a lot of research, you'll notice that most of the necks that break are uh, mahogany necks. If the neck is made out of maple, it's not as big of an issue because maple is plenty strong and can handle having a little bit more wood routed out in this area. Mahogany, not so much the case. That's one of the reasons why if you look at an acoustic guitar, the adjustment nut for the truss rod is located not at the headstock, but it's located in that sound hole. And the tool, you have to use your tool to get into where that adjustment nut is. And that's because the necks are typically mahogany and are much thinner and susceptible to breakage. So in order to prevent um, routing out too much wood in this area and weakening this spot, they flip the truss rod around and have it access through the sound hole. And that makes it much stronger headstock to neck joint. So when you're planning your build, you have to ask yourself what makes sense. If you're making the neck out of a strong hard maple, you can go ahead and add the truss rod adjustment nut at the, at the headstock. If you don't like the way that looks, of course, you can flip it around. If you're making the neck out of mahogany, I think it's a good idea to put the adjustment nut at the heel. Now, placing the adjustment nut at the heel comes with its own challenges. Uh, if you're using just a, a regular uh, adjustment nut like this one here, access can be somewhat limited. Typically, if you have a neck pickup or a pick guard or anything like that, you have to remove all that to get access to that nut. And 
That means, of course, you have to remove the strings, the pickup, the pick guard, all that to gain access to it. And that can be a bit of a challenge or a chore. And I like to adjust my truss rods with the strings on the neck. I'll just detune them slightly, make the adjustment, and then tune things back up. Makes the process go a lot faster. But when it's when the adjustment is at the heel, it can be a bit more of a challenge to access that nut. Now, one solution is to use a spoke wheel adjustment nut on your truss rod, which is certainly uh, possible, and a lot of guitar builders who place the adjustment at the heel opt for that approach. All it means is you have to route out a slot at the end of your fretboard to gain access to that wheel. Uh, you could also do it in the body too and extend the truss rod more into the body. The disadvantage with that is there are more steps involved with routing the pocket that the truss rod's gonna fit into. There's uh, uh, multiple sizes of routing that has to be done. It gets a little bit more complicated. So, you know, before you choose that option, consider what your routing skills are and whether or not you wanna attempt that. But uh, it does make for uh, a much easier access to that, that uh, adjustment spoke wheel. And there are other adjustment options. For example, there's the Goto side adjustment. I'm not going to really get into that because some folks are fans of it, but I, I just don't see the point of it because you still have to have the adjustment nut on it for it to work. You use the adjustment nut to make your major adjustments and then use that side adjustment for fine adjustments. So it's just adding complexity to something that doesn't really need to be that complex. So I think in the bottom line is when deciding whether you're going to put the nut at the, the adjustment nut at the headstock or the heel, you have to decide what kind of wood you're going to use to make the neck. Uh, if it's a strong, stable wood like maple, you can certainly put it at the headstock. If it's a mahogany, you're going to have to consider putting it at the heel. So in truth, it, it really doesn't matter what type of wood you're going to use to make your guitar neck. You can install your truss rod with the adjustment nut either at the headstock or the heel. You just want to be aware of some factors like how thick the neck is where it uh, transitions into the headstock. Do you want to route out a slot right through that area and potentially make it weaker? Uh, there are a lot of Gibson guitars out there that have the slot running out the headstock on mahogany necks that haven't broken. Yes, they are more susceptible to breakage, but I don't think that that's something you should be hyper aware of or concerned about since it's been done on millions of guitars without any problem. However, if it is a, a concern of yours and you want to flip the truss rod around, you have to consider the access to the nut as well as the slightly more complex routing procedure for installing the truss rod back here. Um, if you're using this type of nut, it's not that big of a deal, but if you're using like a spoke nut, there is more involved. So you wanna think through the process of routing the truss rod slot regardless of whether you're placing the nut at the headstock or the heel and, and visualize all the different steps and then ask yourself, are you capable of doing that? Uh, for example, when you're uh, routing the truss rod for a headstock access on a flat fender headstock style design, you typically would route just a straight slot, which would stop short of the nut, and then you would drill the hole from the headstock into that slot. Do you know what that involves? You can't just ram your drill into there. You have to precisely line it up and drill it uh, exactly into the slot where it's going to uh, allow access to the adjustment nut with your hex wrench. And that means it has to be carefully drilled and that probably means you're gonna to have to use some sort of a fixture to assist in that process. And unfortunately, those fixtures don't exist in the real world. You have to make one to do it. I have one in my shop that I use to drill this type of hole whenever I do that sort of work. So just be aware of those sort of complexities. And 
hopefully I've given you some food for thought when it comes to deciding where you're going to place that adjustment nut. And that may save you some time and frustration down the road. If so, be sure to give the video a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel, again, welcome. Uh, I hope I've earned your subscription to the channel. And until the next episode, as always, take care, stay safe. And I hope to see you back here next Tuesday or next Friday or whenever I post up my next video.